All right, batter up. Major League Baseball players are getting ready for the season and starting spring training with the very first game today. The Dodgers and the Padres square off in Arizona. Those two teams will open baseball's regular season with a series in South Korea beginning on March 20th. The Dodgers will be debuting their massive offseason acquisitions. Former Angels star Shohei Otani and the highly anticipated pitcher Yoshinobu Yamamoto from Japan. Joining us now from Arizona is Fabian Ardaya. He's a staff writer for The Athletic where he covers the Dodgers. So let's go ahead and start with L.A. because expectations are sky high. What is the feeling around the team? I mean, it's hard to really ignore the offseason that they've had, spending more than a billion dollars in one winter with Otani and Yamamoto. The expectations are high. They've always kind of been high for the Dodgers, a lot of 100-win seasons the last few years, and no one's had a better run of regular season success than they have. But uh, obviously, the expectations are even higher when you spend this much in one winter. You know, Fabian, uh, I'm, since you're there, since you're watching, given those, high, those sky-high expectations, how do you think they're, they're actually going to do in this matchup? I mean, obviously, the talent is there. I think you're sort of looking at it. It's hard to ignore uh, having three MVPs in the top three spots in your lineup. Uh, they've added to the rotation. Uh, they're, they're making the playoffs is always going to be something that they sort of expected, but uh, they are expected to go deep in the playoffs and not win the World Series. I think, obviously, the talent is there. So we'll see if that actually plays out in the field. Uh, Otani is just recovering from surgery. How does that affect the team? I uh, still expect to be ready for opening day. Uh, he's been seeing live pitching starting this week. He's supposed to get into some spring training games next week. So everything's on track for him to be there in Seoul, Korea for opening day. All right, Fabian, before we let you go, one of the hottest topics in baseball is MLB's controversial new uniforms. Tell our viewers what's going on. Yeah, uh, they changed uh, a little bit with Fanatics and Nike. Uh, they sort of changed a little bit of the uniform structure this year, a new uh, sort of fabric, new everything like that. And I think you've sort of seen some complaints from certain players. Uh, some lettering is off. Uh, some guys have complained about the pants, that they're kind of see-through. I've had at least one player <laughs> say that they refuse to wear the new pants. Uh, so, yeah, I think it's obviously uh, uh, some bumps on, on the road when it comes to introducing this new product line. And some players have spoken up about it. I remember a similar controversy in yoga with Lululemon <laughs> see-through pants. So I can understand why the players might be a little bit hesitant to put it all out on the field. Uh, well, let me also ask you about the league implementing some more rule changes. Obviously, there were major rule changes last season. What should we expect this season? Yeah, I think the big thing is uh, still adjustment to the pitch clock still. with that. I think some guys... The first few weeks of spring training was really the adjustment period, but I think guys have sort of gotten used to that now. So some of the new bases, uh, bigger bases, stuff like that. Uh, you've seen the games sort of change, and I think uh, that's been the biggest thing. I think other than that, like some of the rule changes this year are kind of minor compared to last year. Last year was sort of the big overhaul when it came to the pitch clock, came to some of the base ceiling. Uh, now it's more tweaks and adjustments, which was always going to be kind of part of the process there. All right, Fabian Ardaya, thank you. Of course.